All right. I think it's time to uh, get to this interview. All right, guys. Now we have the Benny Johnson neurotic critical drinker. Cringe fest. Let's give it a shot. Oh, this, this hey, they're so, starting with the Walt so Disney. Fucking cringe. Huh? Yeah, like really already. First frame. Basic bitch. Yeah. Like everybody and knows, are, like you don't have to tell us again. Star Wars and Disney sucks. We got it. I didn't expect this. And these are the guys giving them money all the time, going to watching everything, signed up for all their services mm -hmm. and shit, going to the. Park. They're Disney's biggest fans. Oh, coming to Disney was a bad idea. Oh, they're going to do celebration a in the Billy. Day. It's like yeah, it's like a Fucking it's like a sketch into a like an uh, interview, sit down interview. Uh, look who showed up to his right. Weird, weird. Oh, the other oh, people saying others. <laughs> yeah. Hey, run my prediction promo, please. Uh, do I even have it on this one? Hold on. These are the people oh, calling other people's um fucking content cringe. Place to Disney is a worse idea. I should have called that one too. God damn it! As soon yeah. as that dude, <laughs> once that fuck, I, that's one of the reasons why I hated that episode so much. It wasn't funny. And, and there, was funny I knew, there were some it, funny parts. It literally Overall. said that Nerdrotic is the same thing as the chick that runs yes, the Yes, and they didn't yeah, get that's it. That's the part they skip over. Yeah. They're fucking stupid, man. They're fucking stupid. I've been 10 years sober, but this will drive a man to drink. So you're going to go to a bar? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Why? What oh, the fuck? Said the oh, come pain. on, critical. Ah. You can just be like, hey. So come I on, think, drinker. Fucking A. I think I'm gonna do something that I'm probably That's gonna the hate. Best closer of videos out there, and he just fucking he just used it as Yeah, he just made it cringe he, now. He yeah. made it he made it a sex toy for them. Ugh. To fuck him with. <laughs> oh god. It's it's like the, the Bart Simpson uh, thing years ago. He was like, I didn't do it. And he got hit, and then it just became like so lame that everybody kind of hated it after a while. Say the line, Bart. I didn't do it. Yeah! So, like, like, I'm like gonna... they're, the, they're the classroom going, say the words, Bart. Say yeah. the, say the Bart. words. And he's like, go away now. And then they all That's just That's a fine catchphrase, but it's like, an you amazing gotta use way to right. end his videos. It doesn't make sense in this, I mean, this fucking context at it, all. It's it, it's whatever, but it's it's just stupid. It, it's a very good like introduction to what this interview is gonna be. So we got this guy here on the left. That's Gary from Nerdrotic. Yeah. We got Benny Johnson. We got Critical uh, Drinker. He's Benny the Johnson's last not one I have terribly any big. Type of respect for, and he's gonna fucking blow it. So I've heard rumblings that Nerdrotic wants to quit after he hits a million subs. I'm calling bullshit. There's no way. There's no These people love money. the money what too much. What else does he have? He's full of shit. That's just to get more subs so he can get to a million. Oh, I might just like quit. Oh, I'm thinking about it. Yeah, what that's a tempting you? Reddit to try to get him to a million. Yeah, he's a uh, fucking guy. He. What else does he have? He's try, He doesn't have a. He might be His getting wife's a got a contract, business. Maybe. His wife's got a business. He's a hair. She's a hairstylist. She lost I mean, all her clients owned, when they moved to Texas. Yeah, but I mean, she probably opened. Uh, a new store in Texas, when you think, especially with the money they've been raking in with this shit. Now, speaking of money, I gotta find it real quick. It's probably buried down here, pretty deep. I couldn't sleep the other night, so I was liking a lot of shit. Um, someone pulled the the super chat numbers for F and T and compared them to uh, Trashcast, uh, Ethan Van Skyver's show. See, oh, that's the wrong window. What? Look, he just so, got rid of us. Oh god damn it! I'm sorry, guys. The fucking window went up. The hell is happening? So okay, so this is Ethan Van Skyver's revenue from uh, was that February 24th, 26. It's like around like twenty two, twenty three hundred dollars. And then you got this is from the, around the same time for the F and T shows. That's F and T. They only made like eight hundred. They have like fourteen thousand people. That's nerdrotic. Yeah. So nerd they don't do it on his channel, I mean, though, do they? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Oh, it's always they? on his channel. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. That shows how much I watch it. So, I mean, that could that could mean a lot of things. That could just be like a you know a weird night. Maybe that wasn't even F and T. Maybe that was just a regular 
He can't really, I can't really see what the actual well, stream was. He was getting he was getting fifteen dollars per, whereas EVS was getting eight dollars per. Well, that's because he doesn't read the two dollar ones. He's a piece yeah, of shit. Yeah, he, he won't read the <laughs> he won't read the smaller amount ones. Yeah, because he's too big. He's got too many donations. Speaking of donations, hit that super chat button, y'all, or at least hit that fucking like button. Share this link in all your favorite social medias. Let the hate grow through you. Okay, it's just gonna delay, isn't it? When are you gonna work? Right, Great. Now I'm, gonna gonna be, now I'm never going to be. Now I'm never going to be able to realize my dream of being on Friday Night Tights, right? guys. Thanks. So, Thanks a lot, uh, dork. Okay, so this one, this, there's, <laughs> here's a different one. This is from our buddy Air July. <laughs> so he wasn't on these two days. I'm assuming because uh, there's nothing. I'm assuming he at least got some super chats if he's if he's live. He's not us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but here's the. Uh, Last seven days, where he does he does at least one or two for Cannon's sakes. He does some other streams. Like, his super chats are tanking, too. Like, his numbers are tanking pretty bad as well. Like, he doesn't care. He's got, like, Blaze money and Daily Wire. He's probably got a Daily Wire contract, is maybe. what I heard, like, spitting out there. Like, he doesn't give a shit. That's what they. That's what all these assholes want, that guaranteed fucking uh, Daily Wire Blaze money. Well, yeah. and... and in all fairness, uh, he could also, if he wanted to, sell his channel for an inordinate amount of money. I don't know. People don't want to fucking watch his channel anymore. He could he could probably sell Ripperverse for a decent bit, though. But if he's got 500,000 plus subs, then... He's almost at a million. Some cryptocurrency person would buy his channel for a ridiculous Oh, Air July is not almost at a million. Oh, I'm talking no, about he's like at 500. Nerd Roddick's in, in like the 800, 900,000 range, right? He could get yeah, a yeah, fortune he, for that channel. Yeah, probably. Maybe I don't know, but what, it's just gonna happen. It's gonna just be the fucking uh, what, nerdist all over again, or that know, does, yeah. But it's it's a million subs. If you, you people who buy channels that have a million subs pay a lot of fucking money for that. You if you have a channel with fifty thousand subs, you could sell it for a couple of grand. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Doctor Grinch says Bert Popcorn talks a lot of smack. It, have you ever seen them once pull up? <laughs> hey, we we don't travel, all right? Fucking yeah, I ain't going. I ain't, they I ain't come going to us. If they, wanna pull, if they want us to pull up, they got to come to us. Honestly, I hate that real life shit, so you can, they can, you can fuck off. <laughs> I would laugh in Eric July's face. I would cackle like a goddamn hyena. Because he's so short. <laughs> I would be Top town, boys. What you have? Irish coffee. Hold the Irish. Everything. Fucking hate him. Irish yeah, coffee. This, this made me hold the Irish. <laughs> Someone, if, if you want, if that wouldn't be funny. The only way to make that joke funny is in the background. Someone just walks into the bar with a shotgun and stands behind him, out of focus, and blows their fucking brains out. That would have made the joke funny. Uh, that seems a bit much. I mean, I don't yeah, I mean like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> right after he, he says it, walks in joke. right behind him and just, like it's all out of focus too, so you don't really see it, you know. I got to do those breathing exercises that you do when you're drunk and you have to puke. And so you just go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can spit up in your mouth from watching this. <laughs> Thing. I got the message. Fucking Jesus. What the fuck? What is he that said the thing. He said the thing, guys. He said the catchphrase. God. God damn it. This is so fucking damn. cringe. This, this is so cringe. These are the so-called uh, fucking culture warriors. You guys are so fucking boomerish cringe. I this wish feels I had the like... shotgun right now. This feels like what George Lucas and Steven Spielberg did to Indiana Jones. Oh, raped. Oh, God, George Lucas raped my childhood. George Lucas raped my childhood. I don't understand, like, critical, like, how to critical. was like, yeah, I'll do that. And, like, it, this is such low effort cringe bullshit. Oh, yeah, it really he's, is. he's so tiny. Look at him. Oh, you just have to be a floating head or a voice. <laughs> like, you can't. He's so tiny. Look at him, how tiny he is. No, Are not him. Not Benny Johnson. Go back to Drinker. Drinker's like 6'2". No, but look how tiny he looks. In every video, he looks just tiny. Everything. Wait, hold on. I don't Wait know what, what is... Okay, like, you're not an actor. We'll give you that, all right? You're and not an actor. Does, why does he look like that Jesse guy that's the ex-Marine that does the political stuff on America First? Jesse Ventura? I don't know what that is. No, the, the political commentator. Jesse somebody. I have no idea what you're talking Lee about. Lee Peterson. You're saying Crickle Drink is black? Jesse Lee Peterson? I don't I don't see the, the resemblance Yeah, I don't there. think Crickle Drink is black. I could be wrong. No, I, I can't don't remember. See this. Color. Somebody in the chat will know the guy's Scottish. name. Jesse somebody. He's black been on Scottish. Fox News a couple times. I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea. 
I have no idea what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I don't think that person exists. I think you're making them up. I think you're gaslighting okay. us right now. Yeah, just like just <laughs> like you're you're trying to get me to believe that stupid fucking premise from the from the show you were talking that about. That was real, you bastard. I had to watch Simper, it. Simper, I really don't want you to have to watch it because I feel like you might harm yourself once you realize we're telling you the <laughs> truth. And I you know, I love you, buddy. I don't want you. To, I don't want yeah. you to go anywhere. We don't want somebody like your family members finding you like that. They did on the ring. I'm just, I'm just frozen. <laughs> after that chick came, after like that chick comes out of your TV and like murders you. <laughs> no, this one comes out of your icebox. <laughs> Not the we, message. We should consider. We we should consider doing that. Just randomly have us watch the shittiest stuff ever that we've never seen that we don't even believe exists, mm. and just having our cameras on while we're watching it so you can catch the reaction and then ken goes in and just chops it all up with the best moments why do i gotta work i don't want to do all the work I, <laughs> you're yeah, the master that. that's that's your fucking thing i was like oh why don't we get kenny to do all this yeah shit? Ken, hey, he's, he's definitely got the, the most time out of all of us you're the one yeah. that did the awesome news promos for this show that was freaking yeah awesome, those are man. famous what ken? happened to those the whole world knows about that are, oh, yeah, they take got fucking got time i'm too busy doing every fucking thing else nah yeah, I mean, I may be the one that clicks the go live button, but this is Ken's channel, really. Right? I may be the one he that shows up and work. gives the vast majority of the great content when I'm on, but Ken's the one that does it's all It's me work. yelling at you. That's the content. <laughs> I, mean, Always. I like it. It's great. It takes a special <laughs> kind of person to get you to yell at people like that. Not Indeed. really. Special is not the word I would use. Retarded? Oh, it's, I, I, it's a, that's a synonym. It's also special. special. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I hate these people. They're so fucking fake. Like you can and tell why, when someone's being fake. Why does he not unbutton his top button ever? Yeah, what is he a cholo? Because I may have heard from a possibly reliable source that I totally didn't make up for this joke that he could be um, connected to because of his time in prison. A certain um, nation, we'll say. Oh yeah, and, I and heard, why does why does critical drinker drinker have the legs of a normal person but the torso of a young boy? <laughs> I'm not he is like really man section. spreading there, like dude, like close your legs. <laughs> and I would ask why Benny has his legs crossed, but we all know because he's a gentleman and he doesn't want you to see his skirt. That's exactly what I was going <laughs> to say. Not that not that he's probably super gay. I well, heard the rumor like that was going around him about um. Nerd Roddick is like he didn't he didn't uh clan up or join up with any gangs in prison, so that means he probably was hanging out with the chomos. He was walking around holding somebody else. They probably put him in the same section as the chomos. If you don't gang up, that mean well, y y you have to to survive in Folsom prison. So I mean, it would be pretty hilarious if is... there was like a uh, a nerd gang where they just had like Magic the Gathering and like comic books in like in their section. <laughs> you know, like, they, they all got tattoos of like the bat signal and uh, like... yeah. He's trying to reform people with Lord of the Ring books. <laughs> they fight by snapping like in uh, West Side Story. The Jets. <laughs> they need no introduction. The Great Nerd Erotics. Hello. And, and Critical Drinker. All right. And it's early in the morning and we're drinking, boys. They Thanks are. for that. Uh, this is... I had coffee. What does it feel like? No one uh, cares, Gary. Uh, no, God, you you're sober. You... No, no, no. Because he was an alcoholic and now he's sober, guys. He's, he's not an he alcoholic. He also did drug addict. He, yeah, used like he, used to be, he used to be into drugs and drink and shit like that, guys. Did you not know that? Drugs and drink? <laughs> yes, he used to be into drugs and drink. He used to be He used to be into that pot. He's sober now, guys. He used to be in prison. He's sober now. He was Dude, in prison. He, he's like, sober now. He came to a point where he talked about it so much. He's I'm like, sober he's now. He's just doing this for, like, I feel like he's doing this for, like, sympathy. Like, people he used, all like his channel because, oh, he got clean and he's cleaned up his life. And she's like, good for you. Shut the but, fuck up. But have, but have you ever have you ever considered that he used to be in prison and he used to be on drugs and drink and now he's not? Oh, I wish you'd Did you even more. think of that? Did you even know? So it's just like, all right, you turn into an asshole when you do when you drink or do drugs. We get it. Oh, you gotta keep it contained. All right. I'm sorry you can't handle your shit, pussy. Whoa, Say that one right to the head. Head, man. Oh, I thought that one my eyeballs. Well, By the way, that's that's the same way I feel about detransitioners. Like, shut up. Yeah. You made a dumbass yeah. decision, and now you're trying to brag about your good-ass decision after your dumbass decision. <laughs> I was already like, sick of people it. before the internet, but the internet has made me, like, even more sick of people. Like, I saw that thing where the lady fucking cut open bags of fucking chips and, oh, like, put, like, God. mayonnaise and, like, weird shit in there and then, like, rolled chicken in it. And, like, you are garbage, lady. Oh, and she bit into it and all that water came pouring out of it or Can, whatever the hell that was. That I'm, was flat. I'm having, like, war flashbacks here. <laughs> like, to... Oh. 
be on the winning side of a culture war. Did you ever expect that? You didn't win. Because based Nobody's on- been fired, you <laughs> fucking assholes. You didn't win shit. She's still ruining Star Wars. He's still in charge. Fucking um, Bob Iger, whatever the hell his name is, uh, he's still yeah. in charge of fucking Disney. Did, he didn't win anything. Didn't, These... he, didn't he make his channel because he hated Last of the Jedi so much? Last Isn't Jedi, that yes. when he created Last his of the Jedi? Jedi? That would have been a better title, Last actually. Jedi, Last Jedi. Mm -hmm. But but she's still making the movies. <laughs> she's still there ruining everything. Yeah, what they still hired done? that fucking weird uh, Somali or whatever the fuck uh, documentary director to direct the next Ray movie. Yeah. Like, the girl the changes that shit all over him in the movie is still the lead character. Mm -hmm. Yes. You've the done only nothing. thing, these people don't move the needle at all. We don't move the needle at all in Hollywood or any under entertainment industry. No, None of us do. buzzing around their head. They not are. with this. We're not even that. The only thing that moves the needle is loss of money for long enough. The bigger the company, the longer they can lose money until it hits a breaking point. Disney is nothing... almost there. It had nothing to do with people complaining yeah. about their bullshit. It has was their product it. was garbage. That's not anything. It gives nothing. them more publicity. I don't care about that. I'm a, I'm here to complain about movies or talk about movies I like. I don't care Disney, about like giving them more publicity. That's fine. I don't care. People are gonna Disney watch what the fuck may, they want. Disney yeah. may already be there if these fuckers didn't keep giving them money. Yeah, they draw attention to every aspect of Disney and all that other bullshit. Like you're the one buying it. You're the one like showing everybody and. Um, people just ignore it because it's a shit product, but you're the one bringing it up and talking about it constantly. And he, and he goes, I hate Disney so much, it's the worst thing ever. So I went to the movie theater and saw their new movie, and it's terrible. At and least I knew Jay Longbone pirates that shit. I went and gave them all my money. Dude, I like Jay Longbone. That's one of the, like the, like I'd call her like a mid tier, you know, nerd tuber. She's not one of the top, like these are like top tier guys. She's more, she's a little lower down. She's I don't trust anybody fuck. that. I don't trust anybody that says they're fighting the culture war through fucking. Oh, she did, she doesn't ever talk about culture war. I've never heard talk about culture war. I'm not war saying shit. them. I'm saying yeah. these guys. I'm not saying no. her or him or whoever that is you're talking about. Dude, like or this... you guys jerk themselves off like they're fighting Disney. You're not doing shit. You're paying for their product. About the Jay Longbone thing and you, you distracted me. I can't remember it now. No, I don't, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm just gonna abandon it. I don't remember what the point was. Longbone. I'm I sorry, swear not, you don't know your point Jay Longbone. Whoever the fuck that is. You don't know Jay Longbone. Dude, Jay Longbone is fucking badass. Just go check her out. She's fucking badass. I'm and numbers, and, and based on the really data, based on the scoreboard, down the culture war, you boys are on the winning. If he really wanted to take down the culture war, he would create his own substandard shitty Disney, just like just like the Daily Wire created their own shitty Netflix, the and June, just like uh, Eric bullshit. July created well, his own shitty Marvel comic. As we'll get to here in a minute, that's what Crickle Drinker's doing. He's he's creating his own shitty action movie, like eighty style, like spy action movie. Like it's, I don't know. Maybe if it sells, someone can make it into something good. So that could be a potential. I don't know, but, but again, I'm not holding on hope. Maybe it'll be good. Yes, Chris Carmen, uh, Jay Longbone's uh, Gotham Knight uh, read through with EFAP guys was pretty fucking funny. It's like where like they reimagine the Batman like lexicon as being in high school, and it's really stupid. Like Bruce Wayne's in high school with Joker and like Harvey Dent and like oh, that's so dumb. Yeah, it's really stupid. Oh yeah, and uh, I, I believe Alfred is now Asian and gay. Oh, shocker! And, yeah, <laughs> it's so dumb. It's pretty funny read through side of the culture war, and these multinational trillion dollar corporations are losing. I guess I always figured it would turn eventually, just when the money ran out, because however much they might believe in their messaging or their political causes. Ultimately, they can't keep making stuff if they don't have money anymore. And they can only sustain so many flops. See, I'm hoping what Hollywood is going to learn through all of this shedding of customers and nearly losing the entire industry is to just <laughs> not have a political leaning. Yeah, but the, the amount of money that they get from the people who are paying them to have that political leaning is far more than they lose on the movies that they're putting well, out. Well, that's the, the problem with Daily Wire. Like, we don't want fucking... Um messaging in our in our fucking movies and entertainment daily wire was like yeah screw them with their woke ideology we're gonna put a bunch of conservative mm -hmm. bullshit into our movies it's like no you yeah. completely missed the mark asshole right. we don't we, want any of it we can make a trans movie too well they claim and it we'll have our guys in change in front of a little girl how about that yeah, chris says no till have a political lead just stop talking about it you know what i yeah. also agree to that cringe <laughs> nice. yes sometimes it's, it's nice to you know see how the other side thinks you know what i mean 
So Star Trek Next Generation had a political leaning and it was a great show. Yeah. So many failures before they have to do something. And that's kind of what it feels like now. It's starting to see that turning point. And it's good to see. I mean, man, like, I just want to make, I just want to see them make good films again. Yeah. Good TV shows. Give us yeah. some good entertainment that lets us escape from the, the humdrum existence that a lot of us have. It's like, nice. You have the, you have the, the... What he was the point scared of scared when he's talking. He always looks scared when you see his face on video. I, I think I'm going to order a couple of Will Jordan books and uh, maybe give a couple reviews. Because, like, this, like, seeing his, uh, his trailer for the uh, the Rogue Elements, because I think all three of us have already seen it beforehand. Yeah. But seeing it really, really makes me worry about those books. I'm going to read them. I'm going to try to keep an open mind. But I'm gonna, I'm, I think I'm going to give my honest review. I'm, I'm not sure if I'll do it on this channel or my channel, but I'm going to... I hope I don't have to rip this guy to shreds. Maybe I'll like read like the first like the first one and it's good. And I just won't. I'm like, yeah, it was good. That's all. That'll be my review. I won't have to do like a real review. That's but. what I'm saying. I I'm hoping that even if the acting is bad, I'm hoping that the story itself is good. It's and then, not gonna be though, because it, it's the I'll most like basic it. bit shit. I can't. I can't handle another. I can't handle another. The only one of these people left that I have any type of you know respect for what they do as far as the channel is concerned. I can't. I can't lose that one. I like his videos. I watch his videos when they come out. I like his videos. I cannot handle watching one of his videos like I do all the rest of them and go, Ugh. I, I just can't. I can't. Well, even even his videos are so um paint by numbers at this point. Like he he, he does he goes to the well so much. I'm like, oh, I like your shit. I like your breakdown and stuff, but all that I don't know, that clapping seal fan that he gets, mm -hmm. like he's gotta throw in something about uh Natalia, whatever the fuck her name is. Well, or, the, uh, the fucking the throwing up Joe, whatever the, the hooker he supposedly has or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm well, right they there. they ruined they ruined go away now and the message. So now every time mm. I hear it in one of his videos, well, I'm gonna ruined. remember seeing this one. Like, there's okay. I don't when watch he, the other when shit. When he made the catchphrase, like right as it caught on, is right when he should have stopped doing it and done something new. Like you've got to come up with new shit, otherwise you're I just fucking broken record. I don't watch all these other shows. I only watch his videos. So to me, it's just kind of, it's one of his catchphrases. It's like the, it's like the, the guy that does the, uh, uh, the pitch meeting stuff. And he says, mm -hmm. oh, barely an inconvenience. You know, that's one of his yeah, catchphrases. Yeah, but that's I like a fucking to sketch. Say it in his thing. That's like that's a sketch, That's what every though. one of his videos are, though. Yeah, but that's, that's. I mean, maybe, I, I guess. You have catchphrases, but I you don't know, hear everybody else saying it. Yeah, but I don't have a catchphrase. I hear those two catchphrases. Yeah, as sure. much as we don't like it, there's a million idiots that like clap like seals that every time he does, yeah, you know, they'd complain that if he didn't have it in his video. I'm going to remember Benny Johnson saying the message every time I hear the message in one of his things. Well, that's I'm going to hear Benny Johnson it. say it. Yeah. And that's all I'm going to hear now. And it's going to make me fucking cringe. You think that was well, Benny's idea or, or, say, or not... drinkers? You think that was Benny's uh, idea or drinkers? That was definitely Benny's idea. This yeah. seems like oh, was, this. Let's see. How do I add? Oh, you know what? I, I got to pull up the. Uh... He looks uncomfortable being there. Like well, he doesn't look like he wants. Yeah, to Benny there. Johnson. If you watch his entire thing, is like a fanboy talking to his. Like he's acting like he's talking to Arnold Schwarzenegger and fucking Sylvester Stallone. He also like, uh, you know, gives away the fact that he doesn't watch movies. Like he he doesn't know movies at all. Uh, he he, it's just faking all the way through. Which I I get it. I guess. Um, get that, but the whole like, hey guys, we're just, winning the culture war. You guys are like doing it. That's so awesome. I was like, man, this is so gay. All right, let's keep watching. I'm gonna make a poll real, real quick. The Carl Weathers. I had to pay tribute to the great man himself R. today. R. Can, R. I see, can we see? Can we see for the camera? Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. I didn't have an Apollo Creed T-shirt to hand, so this will have to do. <laughs> I gotta get one today. There's, a, there's a, Carl Weathers has been here, like in this room. There's, there's multiple signed photos yeah. of him on the wall. That is cool. So we, we stand in the presence of glory. I'm in a bar, and it's a bar that had Carl Weathers in it, so that's pretty good to me. <laughs> uh, tide is turning. We're, we're, I, I think we're on the side of common sense and truth, so that's always the winning side to me, whatever happens. We talked about it last night. Um, the tide was turning a couple of years ago and they got a, a false extension, you know, uh, during during COVID, uh, during the summer of love, you know, those very peaceful riots when America was burning down and Hollywood was- Why did he give his name? Why did anybody get, did he give his name or did somebody else come up with his name? You guys know? What, the- um, Summer of love summer bullshit? Of love? No, no, that was, that's kind of the internet created that after like, I think a, a governor said it. Mm. No, nothing's a problem. It's a summer of love, and then everybody mm. kind of ran with it. He didn't come up with that. He doesn't come up with any of his shit. Gary's I'm like that. I'm surprised he's not wearing an ISOM hat. 
Gary's like oh, the imaginary uncle that just like that. got like me like five year old memes and just keeps repeating them in like casual conversation. And you're like, dude, that's Great. everybody, yeah. especially like the Daily Wire crowd. That's all they fucking do. It's all Tom yeah. McDonald. He's just all of his songs are five year old fucking Facebook memes. Yes, absolutely. Rooting it on. Um, they, after Hollywood had divided the nation through their scripts and their uh, adult pretenders being idiots uh, and demonizing oh, half the country. So so adult there, pretenders. Oh, oh, you really got them, Gary. Oh, you're so original. Adult pretenders. They just keep, it's it's they just... fine to, to say it once as like a joke. Because like in the context of when you, you know, first do it, like people go, oh, he's talking about actors. Now, if people don't watch his shit and know this meme, they're gonna go, don't pretend it's... Oh, oh he's talking act- about actors. actors. Oh. Thank you for wasting like thousands of people's time there, Gary. You do every don't time worry, you he'll, fucking he'll say He'll throw an MCU in the same time. You know what, actually, all I, catchphrases. I take that back. I think he already said MCU at one point. You might, might get there. Uh, I take that back. Only people watching this other than us are his fans and Drinker's fans. So, they fucking drink that shit up like it's... Yeah. Yeah. He said the thing. Ur, 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 ur. Clapping seal. I fucking hate these people. <laughs> it, they put that off for a couple years, which was in 2019. Woke stuff was failing. These people are going, man. You guys are mean. This show's called Burnt Popcorn. We're we're like grumps. <laughs> like, we're curmudgeons here. We're media curmudgeons. Yeah. yeah there's they, a reason why we got an old prospector here. He just hates everything. Yeah. They didn't. Yeah. They didn't push anything off. They just released Madam Web, and it was the worst of all of them. Mm-hmm. He just said they pushed it off. Which, I, I don't give a shit, but they're acting like the movie did bad because they complained about it. That's the part that like, annoys the fuck out of it. It did bad because yeah, no, no one gives a knew fuck that movie about was that character. Be yeah. No one Everybody, gives a shit. Yeah, exactly. Any normie or whatever you want to call him is like, oh, I don't give a shit about this. this you, who the hell cares about this? How do you feel In about fact, they did they, uh, Craven? They did, it's going to die. Still it's going to be shit, too. I mean, but sure, but it looks like it could be fun shit. There's look like there could be some fun deaths and shit in there. The trailer kind of, you know, alluded to some of that. Oh, the, a, a lion licked me, and now I have fucking lion. <laughs> yeah, yes. And hey, let's fucking hey, I got go. an idea. <laughs> Not even a radioactive lion. Let's let's make a movie. Let's make a movie about Bane and cast the critical drinker as Bane. How about that? Because that's pretty much what they did in Craven. Let's cast the skinniest guy we can find to play the biggest dude well, in the entire. Here, here's MCU the thing, though, Semper. Old. He's actually Craven Junior. That that is not that you were supposed to fucking people hate gasping. Shit, fucking hate the damn. Shit. That was supposed to be people gasping, and you hit glass breaking. Mm. Or just dun dun dun. You. dun. You, you yeah, suck. do that. Do that. <laughs> See, you're terrible. <laughs> that was pretty great. You're the worst. <laughs> That's so craven. <laughs> Let's try it again. <laughs> <laughs> No, I was I'm distracted again. by the, the, the chair creaking anyway. Right, let's get right, on this. Right, oh, try try one more time. Hold on, try one more time. I haven't sufficiently upset Ken. Hold on. Fucking hang. Try it one more time. <laughs> Horse. <laughs> Killing already. I turned into Dark Fate's a great is example. exactly what I hear when people see my face. <laughs> Aww. It's like the worst uh, subversion of an <laughs> intellectual <laughs> property you'll ever see. Personified in like the first five minutes. Um, where they kill... Uh, they kill um, John, Connor. John Connor in the, in the first oh five my. minutes pause with the CGI, it, with the CGI with de-aged. And- no, this this is why this is why people people watch his videos and not much of anything else. Listen to the amount of times he says "um" while he's talking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then he talks for like. 40 yeah. seconds at a time too. That's why all of that's because that's why all his videos are him talking, cut, him talking, cut, him talking, cut in about 40 seconds. I don't even think years. he edits his own videos. I think he no, just sources no, all that shit out. Editor. Core Black uh, Garrett does. Oh. Fucking yeah, Garrett, who is one of my like my uh shows uh I don't want to call it lol cows. I need to come up with a better term than lol cow. I need something a little classier with some Judoa or whatever. Jujwaji? Is that a word? No, I don't know French. Uh, I don't know what you're saying right now. The word furlong. <laughs> and uh, uh, pretty, it actually looked pretty good. The, the CGI good. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. But then it just, it destroys the Terminator franchise. That was written by James Cameron, by the way. So it was already on his way out. Then, of course, we get the great uh, reset happening over the next two years. But the reason they extended. <sighs> stop talking about the great reset, Gary. Just stop talking about it. No one cares. Is he talking about, is it's that like- from... Is that some euphemism for what they're doing with movies, or is he actually talking about the Great Reset? 
No, it's, they're on a loop. They all say the same shit over and over and over. They all have like catchphrases and shit. But is he talking about the real thing or is he talking I don't about know. the resetting Stiver, the Marvel I'm going to be honest. I don't know. Oh, okay. Uh, I've heard him say it before. Yeah, I always assumed it, he was talking about like the like the WF like reset. No, I know? think I I think what he's talking about is the potential of them bringing Iron Man back and going back to the original Avengers. Maybe. I think I that's know. what he's talking about. I don't know, but I, don't know. I think that's what he's talking about. He's boring, and I'm really fucking high. <laughs> that, that, they extended that <laughs> like for two really years. High. as something that was naturally dying anyway. Now it's just gonna probably why I forgot. I started talking about Jay, what reason I started talking about Jay Longbone for. I still can't fucking figure out. Why. I had a point. I swear it was relevant. Die harder, for lack of a better term. Yeah. <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna go down in flames and cost him millions. And his drinker was fuck you. Thing. <laughs> it was only a matter of time. It was if if you follow comic books, uh, if you're a nerd for. <laughs> Everything is so fucking cringe. Oh, you don't like your woke beer? Try our shitty non woke beer. Yeah. Try our white label everything. All We're right. fighting the Patreon, or not the Patreon. We're fighting just, the system. You know, fighting, it's, fighting the Patreon. It, it's just relabeled Bud Light. Yes. Yes, it yeah. is. Or, or it's at least owned by the same company. Uh, by the way, uh, let's see. I think Bud Light's on tap back there. Probably. Oh, that's yeah, that dude, would be that blue fucking thing. Rogan, I think that blue Kid with the Rock. circle on top is Bud Light. Rogan and Kid Rock both fucking like totally became hypocrites on fucking Bud Light. Like everybody knew they were gonna do. Dude, it was a complete money grab. They're like, yeah. oh man, fuck this thing. I was like, all right, we can get it super cheap. Yeah, put it I, in my fucking. Bike. I fuck. said it was. I said it was a money grab from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, I have. I have two very very wealthy yeah, everybody saw friends. It coming, and they I just told, fucking admit I, it. So they just admit it on his both podcast. Of them, when that boycott was happening, I told both of them, dude, take as much money as you could stand and put it in Bud Light stock because it is going to go back up. Mm -hmm. And I think one of them did. What, is it like a, is it like a Bud Light specific stock or is it like Anheuser-Busch? No, it's no, Anheuser-Busch. Anheuser but Anheuser-Busch took a huge, that huge stock di dip. And I was like, go put your money. And that's why that's why you've got Trump promoting it. That's why you've got Dana White promoting Because they all sunk a ton of money when that boycott happened. They held it just long enough to be able to get invested in it. So then they bought low and the stock will go high and they could sell it. Cody S says, I don't think Rogan cared about the Bud Light thing. Go watch podcast uh, Cringe's video on it. Check that out. If I would have had like a ton of spare money at the time to actually make an impactful investment, I would have put my money in Bud Light. Mm -hmm. All right, we gotta get to this. For any oh, amount of time, okay. you I would see like this right is back. you're subverting everything, uh, and and you I'll can't continue to one. subvert stories and expect to well, make money off really of them. They say anything. You can stop it here and go yeah. to the next one. Yeah, let's go to the next one. Fucking I only have it here. Talking about failure to launch, yeah. like Rachel Ziegler right was yeah. supposed to be the next thing. Ouch. Yeah. And then she got on social media. Goddamn. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I don't. I don't think you can correct that shit. Maybe I'm wrong. No, I don't think so. Or it's gonna take a long time. A lot of humility. It would. It would take her to come out and say I was wrong. Which, yeah. good luck. <laughs> it would work. It would actually work, but they, they just, their ego will not right. allow them to do that. Same with cor about corporations. Buddy? All they have to do is Kathleen Kennedy comes out. You know, this was 10 years. This was five years ago. Too, this ship has sailed. But if she came out five years ago and went, we f***ed up. Sorry. Sorry for this language. But uh, we, we we demonized the fans. We shouldn't have done that. We're going to try to make the best Star Wars possible. And from here on Say out, that any of our actors, any of our fans, creators, we'll just talk right? about how much they love Star Wars. We're going to do the best they can. And I, and I resign. Problem over. Yeah, that would help. yeah and I resign. <laughs> Problem yeah. over. Yeah. Yeah. Look, Jar Jar, Jar Binks costume yeah. of shame. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to walk through the streets and you're all going to be able to shout shame at me in like, like Game of Thrones scene. Yep. And I think you could have actually won. I think that actually Dude, a lot of people I, would, I respect think respect would respect it. Everybody would respect it. Genuine... So he, he's, he just said, like, if Kathleen Kennedy came out like five years ago and just apologized and said, hey, we have a shit product. We're sorry we attacked the fans. And no fucking self realization of uh, what you guys have been doing, the yes. people that are attacked fucking Eric July. Well, also, and, side note, Ken, I am not a woman or a child. I don't need an apology. I just need you to fix it. No. And that's the I don't thing. shit about an apology. Yeah. If, no, no, no. Fuck that. If just Kathleen fix the Kennedy. Movies. If Kathleen Kennedy came out tomorrow, released a new Star Wars and a new Indiana Jones, and both of them were really fucking good, then nobody would be talking shit about Kathleen Kennedy. She doesn't owe him shit. She doesn't owe anyone a fucking apology. Either well, make a good fucking well, movie or don't make a good fucking movie. She's ruined Star Wars and fucking Indiana Jones. Yes, she owns and, like the world in a <laughs> Yes, and she does. She's she, like the but fucking Grim she Reaper doesn't of need, yes. She doesn't need to apologize. She just needs to start making decent movies. Mm -hmm. Adam Sandler has had some Thank of the best fucking point. movies and mm -hmm. some of the absolute worst movies. 
but he doesn't need to apologize. He's not going to apologize. Oh, for he didn't bad apologize. Right, so no, I kind of want to apologize for uh, uh, grown ups. Fuck I, him. I would like an apology for the grown ups. Uh, yeah. I want to. Uh, what's the other one? Jack me. and Jill. That one too personally offended me because I was also a fat person at one point, which is fine. But then you make Happy Gilmore. He you made know? that like thirty years ago. Everything. He yes. Up and it now still makes sucks. everything okay. But you guys, she doesn't. Did you guys ever watch Doomcock? She owe him a goddamn thing. Yeah, Did you guys ever watch Doomcock back in the day when, like, when all that shit was first popping off? He was like, sources are saying that Kathleen Kennedy is going to be out, and he said that for like till now. I think. I think he might have quit. <laughs> I haven't checked it on in years. Kathleen Kennedy's been in she's since the original fired, Star sure. Wars. <laughs> she's right. going nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, she's in bed like a fucking tick. Kath Kathleen Kennedy's been a part of the Star Wars Indiana Jones franchise since the day I was born. Yes, but she was yeah, a well, secretary, she was getting them coffee and shit. Yeah. Apology. It's yeah. hard to still be mad at someone when they've yeah, was doing more than getting coffee. coffee. They won't because their standard MO is just. Okay, it, as really. much as I hated them, like focusing on the shirt and like bring attention to it, I kind of like the shirt. Yeah. Yeah. What, what he did was cringe, but yeah, the shirt's fucking awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's got one of the greatest on one liners ever written just on it. Keep going. That's where risk averse comes in. So it's it's risk averse. It's easier to demonize half of your paying customers than be called a racist. Because if Kathleen Kennedy had done Are that, you then serious? No. This is the whole Eric July situation. You no. fucking retard. <laughs> it's easier. It's easier to demonize half your audience than uh. it is to not get billions upon billions of dollars from your investors in BlackRock and fucking Vanguard. Yes, that's what he doesn't. Un well, no, let me let me check that. He knows exactly that's what, what he is. knows it is, but that won't make what you is. any money coming out and saying all of this shit is happening because Vanguard and BlackRock own everything is not going to get you the views that it's going to get making fun of the weird, maybe lesbian, maybe not, maybe married, maybe not bumbling fool well, that is about that shit, this person. They might get their channel shut down because they're so big. They get so many views. So we're talking about how BlackRock and Vanguard own huge stakes in Hollywood and are like pushing this DEI shit on them, while at the same time, like they've completely polluted the entire political landscape of California through numerous channels and means. And now all of the liberals out there are fucking brain dead. Like it's a multi-front attack on our entertainment because if you if you can ruin entertainment. In a way, you can kind of ruin the people's, like, hopes and dreams. Like, movies, like, at one point kind of gave people something to, like, reminisce about and, like, hold on to, like, think about and, like, aspire to and hope for. Like, it, sometimes it could give you possible good futures or even just things that, you know, could be positive. There's just so much negativity in, like, movies and, like, entertainment now. Like, and I think a lot of that is, you know push that direction no it's not even that it's the, it, it's not even that complicated they want to push their God, i hate saying it because he just made the it. Message. Message. yeah they want to fucking divide us and make us all fucking they know what this shit is doing this isn't like they're trying to be good people they're trying to make us like fucking hate everything well, i'm just kind of talking more to the bigger picture of like when you if you want to destroy a like a, almost like a civilization like america is kind of its own like standalone civilization. We've evolved separately from Europe and in a lot of cases in Central and South America. Like we have like our own kind of style. We're young, we're fucking vivacious, or we used to be. Like we yeah, were ready so to we're fucking get the out there and get it. in every every country follows our and now follows ours. you like all this negative shit. Like I'm not saying like you can't tell like stories that have like negative things happen in them, but like like all this negative shit, like it, it kind of <laughs> wears at the spirit of the country yeah, and the people. And in turns, it weakens them, and you start weakening their economy and that's their military and everything else. And boom, like you could have a domino effect before too long. That's why I do a Yuri Bezmenov stream every single year. <laughs> it's to be like, you don't know Yuri, Yuri Bezmenov. It's the Russian guy, guy that tells us how they're Russia subverting the 80s us. And basically said this was all going to happen in the 80s. Yeah, And so I once a year, he has about an hour and a half lecture on how to take over a country without firing a single shot. And every single year, I go over that video and run it again and run it again and run it again. It's basically the Alex Jones speech about a gay bomb. <laughs> <laughs> gay bomb! Gay bomb! It didn't explode.
within her own organization would have called her out for bending the knee to the chuds and the right wing. Your gay bomb was a dud. What do you want to do about it? Uh, Oh, please frame (laughs) this and take a screenshot of it, please. (laughs) 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 See, where is my mouse? There it is. Save as. Have you seen my people? Doi. Have you seen my people? Oh, Ribbonverse is in the fucking chat. We're not even talking. Well, we kind of are talking about Ribbonverse goalposts. Why are you defending Hollyweird? We're not. You I'm not. Fucking Mo. <laughs> I'm defending what it used to at one point Hold stand on. for before it was subverted Rip, by Rip, a Rip, certain Rip, group Rip, of people living off of it and pretending they're funny or cultural. Politicians. That's what I mean, don't don't be racist. And the alt right and all that <laughs> yeah, BS right. that they started. Oh, so man. it's their. Lo- oh, and the the worst shit that Hollywood makes still looks better than what. What fucking drinker? All right, we still gotta get to that. We're yeah, like, we got, we're like eight it's their negative. Yeah, and like Hollywood was, two. I don't want to say sold a lie. I don't want to absolve them of any uh, responsibility. They willingly bought into the lie of DEI, and uh, and brought that in identity politics. And they thought that was the way to go and make money. Uh, of course, we heard the the head of BlackRock say we're forcing behaviors because they they're they're completely open about what they're trying to do and socially engineer. And it was yeah, a bunch of like, oh, okay. There you go. Well, hey, point okay. All point right. for nerd you know what, Gary, he, he knows we take that shit back. All right, we're we're yep. fucking grumpy assholes. We take that last stuff back. I don't retract quite like you. my message about you not pointing out that BlackRock and Vanguard own everything. No, they do. They do. Like I said, they say very basic shit. That's, yeah, that's but they don't like, get into that. Still, the overarching shit that I got into. The, yeah. the Who runs real, the banks, Gary? The real the war. <laughs> the Swedish. Right. It's fucking and Swedish. Going, sure. <laughs> Is it a vast conspiracy? No, it's a, it's a conspiracy of idiots and, and incompetence that, and and uh, lack of creativity. There's there's no talent left. All the talent's being driven out. You, we're hearing that if you follow Film Threat, they're going to be covering it the rest of the year, pretty much. And you're going to hear anonymous people from the Film Actors Guild, the Writers Guild of America, and all the other guilds uh, saying it, we're not down with this. We're forced into it because we're afraid of our own union. So you know, it's they they willingly bought into it, and now they're going to go broke. This feels like the same basic obvious shit. Yes, people are scared to lose their jobs, especially in an industry that can make them so much fucking money. They can lose. They can lose all the money in the world. The more their stock price goes down, the more people freak out and sell. The more that BlackRock and Vanguard can buy it. I, I don't know if you want to go over it. Like the there is a video where they bring up Eric July and saying, "Oh, how do we fight back? Well, well, we okay, need better creators." Well, oh, oh, this, seem... this, oh God, this this should be good. Fucking yeah, yeah this is, is where I like wanted to punch my. <laughs> Look at this face. <laughs> Hey there, Wait, Benny. Does that say Eric is leading the revolt? Uh, I'm just thinking about what Eric's doing in his warehouse right now. Uh, you think <laughs> Eric likes me? <laughs> He's got so you many think posters Eric would he hasn't be my sold. So many it's comics, like, it's not going anywhere. What is he going to do? Like Rip a verse goalposts or whatever no, the name the is of that guy. July it's is. like he was. It's like he was. He or she uh, was like just heard Eric's name in the near future and just moseyed on into the channel. It's it's impressive. God, he called it Holly Weird. What a fucking yeah, man. yeah. God, yeah. Man, I just want to meet these people and just smack them in the face and see what they don't. Hey, do Riververse she... goalposts. Your do you think she's sucks. intentionally cringing? Oh. Oh. You call it New York slimes? You fucking <laughs> work. Do you think? Do you think that she is intentionally this cringy, or that that she's not? <laughs> no, we're not defending Disney Riververse goalposts. Yeah, Fuck them you all. haven't been watching. You fucking jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> We just gotta give him a wrench because I'm afraid yeah. people are gonna bait go, him. I don't want to nah, bait him. No, nah. don't don't go bait him permanently. If you want to bonk him, I don't give a shit. Go, can... go right. No, I'm saying not <laughs> that. I was like saying give him a wrench because I'm worried because I, I, you know, his douchey, her douchey, whoever the fuck this retard. I'm is. assuming it's a woman. Pull the pull the uh, acts like very, very much girly, like a very like unloved woman. I just I just don't want somebody to, like like delete them. Oh, yes, Chris. Oh, oh no! Bitch, not Nacho no. got him. Nacho got him with the bonk hammer. Oh. Hey. Uh, we just having some fun. 300 hey, seconds. The message. No, no. <laughs> I must bonk Nacho says. Pull the, I don't give uh, a Nacho's shit. got more clout around here. Yeah. Sorry, go Yeah, we like Nacho better than your reverse goal post. Sorry. It's okay. Pull, you can still get your clips. Clip. Mm. So easy to bitch about things. <laughs> it's so hard to create. And and that actually seems like can maybe you, the trap can you pause that it many real on. Real quick, Till. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Is this on? Time. Is this yes, on? Yes, I can hear you, old man. All right, what the good. fuck are you doing? Good. We're running out of time. Hurry up. Pull the clips of us defending Disney and make a tweet about it, sweetheart. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Right. Yeah, try to tell us how we're fucking defending Disney. Just, fucking just go, go post on Twitter, sweet no, girl. No, no, no. Simper. Make whatever clip you want. I don't give a fuck. Or don't. I don't give a shit what you do. 
<laughs> the you know mar like many many Marxist wokesters that have taken over Hollywood, they're like it finally learning that trap. That like they bitched about white male dominance and the, you know they they created whatever uh, they needed to create to go find and knock it down, and now they're stuck with like, well okay now you're the creator go yeah right and and so I guess my my question is. How do we not get it caught in that same trap? He's already doing it. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, like on a very small scale, but I'm starting out. And so I'm throwing my hat into the ring, making a short film based on my, my books that I've written. Um, it's, that's not going to change. Which again, no, no, no. That's good. Hey, hey he's, you know what? How, again, sorry, I'm it. sorry, sweetie. We're going to go a little late. I apologize. We've got to fucking do this. <laughs> We've got to get, get into hope, it. Hopefully it'll be good. But if it's not. <laughs> it's not. Then fine. If it's not then hopefully he will be able to take that criticism without crying like a bitch and banning everybody. Nah, come at me, drinker. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. We play no fucking games. <laughs> fucking an explosion. Stop with the glass cracking. Sorry, that was the wrong answer. Anything in the wider sense, but it's it's a start, and it's like just an example of the independent scene, I guess, starting to create stuff of our own. Yes. And you get this with fan videos. You get other YouTubers who've done crowdfunding to start their own movies, and it's starting to happen. You know, it's like I say, it's on a small scale at the I moment, but Eric there's Delight such an enormous doesn't pool. like crowdfunding. Yeah, I thought crowdfunding was. Oh, lame. here comes Nerd Rock to fucking suck his dick in about. 10 Let's seconds. talk about crowdfunding for a second. I thought the Nightmare on Elm Street was not bad for a crowdfunded movie. It was good in regards to how crowdfunded movies go, but it was only like 20 minutes. I wanted more. That's the difference between that and the other ones. But the said. Nightmare on Elm Street I, one, I still got it. it wasn't awful. I thought it was going to be awful. It wasn't awful. I didn't watch it. I, I mean, crowdfunding is good. It gives people who actually make stuff freedom to make shit, whatever they want. Right? Yeah, exactly. So I what's don't have a problem with crowdfunding. Eric July what, Eric just July did crowdfunding, but then told people he didn't crowdfund it. Like he may have gotten some money on the back, like on the front end, to help get the ball rolling, but he he paid his fucking investors back with that crowdfund money. So how is that not crowdfunding? What, what what Drinker should aspire to with this movie is for people to watch it and go. I mean, it was all right. I would like to see it, the the rest of it, or mm -hmm. I would have liked it to go forward. If if he achieves that, then from a small budget from you know somebody who doesn't do it every single day all the time doesn't have an entire infrastructure behind them that is what you hope for for people to watch it and say you know what it wasn't bad and i would have liked I, I when it ended i was like oh man it's over that is what he should aspire to be so if somebody's like blocked in the chat though can i like go back and like yeah you can do it you can i don't see him uh, blocked yeah. he said his message deleted i can't because here i seem is, to be the uh, only person who doesn't have admin rights in this room here i got the way to do it you hide him and then unhide him and then they'll be back. There you go, reverse goal post. I'll let you out of jail. Because okay. we're nice. Nice. Not really, but you know, whatever. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't care. I just don't like Dude, where is me. Drinker's fucking chin? That's he what does I said. Have he a has a weak chin. He's got a he weird has, tiny head. He has the lower lower half of an adult male and the upper half of a of a teenage boy. It's weird. Little little pouty lips. And he has a <laughs> faux hawk. Like I understand why he why he, all of his videos he doesn't show his face. Yeah, I get he why he wears sunglasses. Face, His eyes are very. I'm, uh, I'm sure I would have a ton more subs if I didn't show my face. Oh fuck <laughs> you! This guy is crushing puss. <laughs> I have no problem like seeing that this guy is probably fucking everything uh, I can't when he goes there. I can't imagine the the level of like women that go to their meetups. I can't imagine uh, they're well, great. Well, I, I I'm more fucking don't want to think about the ones that fucking ads versus he are uh, or heel versus babyface fucks mm -hmm. using his clout. They might be talking about him. Just goes everywhere and fucks everything. It's like you oh, know, he's, got, he's got almost two million I've heard stories subs. about him. You know, one of the ways I knew how was hot before like I, I met her and all that shit. She didn't oh, give a fuck face. about any of this shit. Not a fucking bit. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> people who have creative like talent and have creative vision, like and now they have the opportunity to do it because if they get to a decent level, they can crowdfund it. It's like the democratization of filmmaking. Yes. Yeah, uh, you Eric want July to be proving this? Yes, yes, yes. You want to be, you want to encourage they, that as go. much. Er, Eric July, Eric July, Eric July, kind of a Renaissance man. Does you know music? He does oh, metal. Renaissance bitch. man, you fucking dork. Oh, I just love him so much. You fucking. Oh, I Someone fucking out now. there, please make the Da Vinci uh, dude with Eric July's face on him. Please. How much money does he have invested in him? God. Are we he sure was way into the blades? He's are, his fucking shortcut to this contract to the blades. Are we That's sure that Nerd Rock? I mean, we don't know that, that for that sure. Him the seed money? Ken, no, but I'm not, it's I'm very not saying likely. that for sure. I'm saying that as a fact 
and uh, I, I will <laughs> I will put my career See, on. See, I think Are... it's probably more likely that the Blaze introduced him to an investor. I don't want to say it's Glenn Beck personally. Like that would make more sense, right? Because you can keep it off the books. But if it's if Glenn Beck does it, why wouldn't he like be advertising the Blaze shit? So I don't know if it's necessary. It's got to be somebody else. Are like somebody we sure met that through the blaze, maybe. Are we are we sure that Nerd Roddick isn't the one that gave him the two hundred grand? It maybe, uh, maybe. I don't think he had that because kind of I don't know. Know. Maybe after yeah. moving the taxes, no. I don't think he had that kind of money. I don't understand what his skin in the game is with Eric. He's got more subs than Eric. Mm -hmm. He's got a more successful show. I think he has more live black. viewers. He I, moves in more super chats. Friends. Almost four million dollars for a comic book for a guy that made his life about comic books. That's what his fucking in is. Yeah, because he was backed by people like Nerd Roddick and Blaze and all of that stuff. So I just don't understand what Gary's skin in the game is to suck so hard on Eric. I, I, I know. I don't understand it 